Hi, I'm Don Wilkerson and I'd like to give you a quick tip on how you can use Audacity to record audio narrations for PhotoStory. Now to begin with, you'll need to know the basics on how to use Audacity as well as how to put together a photo story. So you may want to consider reviewing the tutorials on both of these if you've not already done that. Once you're familiar with these tools, let's get started. You may recall that in photo story you have the option of recording a narration for each image on the timeline. An alternative method of producing these narrations as well as background music is by recording them outside of photo story using Audacity. This approach actually gives you a little better control over audio quality and also provides more options in the types of audio that can be used. To begin the process, use your script, detailed notes, or outline to record your narration using Audacity. You can add intro, outro, or background music, or other audio clips to enhance the quality of your narration. When you're done, export the audio as an mp3. In PhotoStory, add the first two or three images to the timeline, then go back and highlight the first image, then add your newly recorded mp3 to the timeline. It's then just a matter of adding new images to the timeline, listening to the narration, and adjusting the length of time each image appears to sync up with the narration. I find that this approach is actually faster than doing individual narration for each image and it also allows you to create full motion title slides. Here's a quick example. Question 1, Question 2, followed by Question 3. Remember, PhotoStory automatically applies a fade out to all audio, so be sure to leave a tail on your recorded audio and use an ending slide to make sure that you cover all of the audio on the timeline. And this is just one of those quirky little features about PhotoStory that requires some practice and practical experience to work around. Audacity and PhotoStory 3.0 are excellent tools available at no cost. I hope this quick tip will help improve your skills as a web communicator.